Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I definitely want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I want to get into when we were talking about the situation with Meek Mills. Now, he has been in the media a lot. There's been a lot of videos made about him, especially from his, you know, choice of clothing to the things that people have said to his son, um, you know, regarding the situation with him and Diddy. And also, you know, those infamous tapes that we heard, and they say that it was Meek Mills. Well, today, he has been trying to get in contact with anybody, and that is anybody in the, you know, Philadelphia area who can give him information or link him up with the gentleman, the nasty, disgusting loser who basically released himself on a woman's leg inside of a Dollar Tree store in Philadelphia. Now, Meek is trying to pay someone $2,000 whoever can get him in touch with this person. And basically he said that he wanted to have a conversation with this person, but he did, you know, go ahead and put it out like, this is disgusting, this is foul, and yada. Now, the crime that this man did would, if they caught him and was prosecuted, would in Philadelphia give him either seven, up to seven years in jail, or he would have to pay a fine of $15,000. Um, either one will work because that's just disgusting. How dare you do that? You're with your nasty like and people like this after they catch him He needs to go get psych meds psych help He needs to be put inside of a crazy house or something like that because honestly you doing something like this Where you're in public you did this to a woman and This is a store that nine times out of ten has children there all the dang time like, what are you thinking to pull out your junk and then just relieve yourself on a lady's leg? Like, you disgusting, dirty dog. I hope that they catch him, and I hope that he get what he get. Now, what I will say is, it's cool, and I'm glad to see that Meek Mills is trying to help with this situation. The only part I didn't like was when he said that he wanted to talk to him and have a conversation. Because it's like, what the hell are you going to say to this idiot? Like, are you going to ask him why he did what he did? Like... No, take him in to go get his ass some help. He's already sick. We got his pictures and stuff is all plastered. Somebody need to give a handout, help find, locate this nasty gentleman before somebody else or before it's a child. And what I will say is in positive dealing with this Meek Mill situation is I am happy that he is offering some type of, you know, help or some type of, you know, uh, money offer to try to get this person caught. Honestly, if more celebrities were able to come out from the kindness of their heart and just trying to be good people and came out and was like, no, this needs to happen with this. Let me help with this. There are a lot of celebrities who have gave a lot of money, who have donated a lot of money. And when I say gave a lot of money, I do mean gave a lot of money, like have paid for people's full funeral services, food and all. So I'm not saying that there isn't any help like that. But honestly, if we had more celebrities doing stuff like this and more, you know, acts of kindness to help your own city, state, whatever you want to be at, help those people out that's there, like, this would be a big thing. And it just breaks my heart because a lot of times you hear people say, well, we need to go help out Africa. Well, we need to go help out. Yes, they need help too. But number one, we can't help everybody else and we ain't even helping and taking care of the people that we got in our own country. Like, come on. Like, nobody act like they get that. Everybody wants to go send help, send help, send help. And I get it from the economical you know, standpoint and from the government standpoint. But as logical and people of the people, and what I mean by people of the people is we're human. We're all human. We all believe the same way. We should be trying to help those in our own homes, states, country, 
before we go out there and be helping everybody else. Get us back on our feet. Get all of our people back healthy and strong and able to work and able to live a decent life. Get us all the way straight. Then we go help out others. I don't know. I just think it's kind of sick how this world sometimes be running. And I know that it's, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, I think that this was a good gesture for me. But again, he needs to stay out of the media. And I think that really the only reason why he's getting so hard on doing this and trying to go out of the countries to like London and stuff like that and work with more people in Africa and stuff like that is because he's trying to turn this narrative around. And I'm telling you, the more stuff that comes out about Diddy, this narrative ain't going nowhere for me. This narrative is going to be here for a minute. I feel sorry for the people who was bothering and taunting his children. But I will say that this is a good step. It's a good start. And let's see if some things can really happen. Because I'll say this, even though it seems like Meek Mill might have like a whole bunch of money and stuff like that, in all reality, I don't see him like, he can be a millionaire as well. And I'm not, you know, hating or nothing because I'm for damn sure not a millionaire. So you ain't got more money than me. But what I will say is, I don't think that like he is one to go out there and I, I can give 10000 here or whatever. Because, you know, sometimes they had these celebrities go out there and they be like, you are so-and-so, so-and-so. You can give this. If y'all only knew what really goes on in these people's pockets. So even the 2000 And then even when I see numbers like that, I'm like, man, that's money that could have technically went to their children. It could have went to somebody in their family. Or, hell, they could have just effed it off themselves. But when they do stuff like this, we do have to take acknowledgement and try to give people their props even when they don't seem like they're all the way 100. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.